Hey everybody. So I've seen some really neat stuff that you've been coming up with uh, using Vexcode VR. And I wanted to just make some comments on some things that hopefully uh, we can start thinking about within the code. Um, some of you are doing things that are repetitive. You're having code that uh, is identical and just having that code appear multiple times uh, within your program. So here's an example. Uh, I drive forward for 200 millimeters, turn 90. Drive forward for 200, turn to 180. Drive forward for 200, turn to 270. Drive forward for 200, and then turn uh, to 360. So you notice this is always a drive and then a turn, a drive and then a turn, and so on. Let's take a look at this code actually running. So drives forward, does a turn, drives forward, does a turn, and so on. So you can uh, kind of see what it's doing there. Nothing too exciting. You also notice that, let's say I wanted to make a bigger uh, square. Um, if I want to make that square bigger, I actually have to do this in multiple places. I have to change that to 800, this to 800, this to 800, and this to 800. So much in programming is about being smart but lazy. And what I mean by that is using the tools to make it so that uh, you don't have to do the same tedious work over and over and over again. It's looking for a clever way to uh, save time and simplify your code a little bit. Now, one thing that I find is that any time I find myself doing the same thing over and over and over again, that is a sign that there must be a better way. Because there have been people more clever than me that a long time ago came up with a better way because they, like me, want to save time. So I have this number, 800, 800, 800, 800. It would be nice if instead I could store that number 800 inside of a variable and then change that value of the variable in my program once. And then my program, since it's always looking at the variable value, is just going to update every single step here automatically. So let's take a look at how to do that. So uh, looking at the controls here, we have a whole bunch of different things. Um, here we have something known as uh, setting a variable. So let's take this and let's create a variable. Let's just rename it uh, length. And I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to set it zero because I'm realizing we actually haven't run this code yet. So let's run it just to make sure we understand what this new code does. So instead of going one grid square, it goes four. So a much bigger square. There we go. And let's also take advantage of another feature that is built in here, and that is um, moving the robot pen down. And so let's, let's uh, throw that in there. Yeah, let me just undo that, actually. There we go. And just move it where I want it. There we go. So I'll actually do that right away. And so now, if I uh, reload and run, now it's actually going to draw out, look at that, draw out a nice square. And so a lot of you have used this in uh, the videos that you've been posting to Flipgrid. So this is great. All right, so that's working exactly the way we want it. So now let's try setting length to be 800. And um, what's really nice about this is now that that value is 100, I can take that variable length and just drop that everywhere in here. Length, 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 and length. And since I am setting length once to 800, it's going to then um, use that value in each of these drive commands. So we'll reload, and we can see that it does the exact same thing that we just saw. Okay, so this is great. And because I change my mind about all sorts of things all the time, if I now realize I don't want to do 800, I want to change this to 600, I only have to change one thing. 
So let's go and run it. And so that should be three grid squares. And sure enough, the rest of the code updates as expected. So this is uh, exactly the sort of shortcut that I'm looking for. All right, so looking at this, I'm still seeing a lot of repetition. I have drive turn, drive turn, drive turn, drive turn. So let's start thinking of about uh, thinking of a way to simplify that. So looking at my options here, I hear that repetition. It's going to be a repeat block somewhere in there. So let's uh, slide that in. Um, and I know, just kind of thinking about it, that it's probably going to be uh, how many times am I am I doing this? So I drive and then I turn. And that's one segment. Drive and then turn. That's another segment. Drive and then turn. So that's probably four repetitions. Um, and let's try pulling that out. Let's see what it does. Okay, so I have now drastically decreased the uh, size of my code. Um, so let's, let's run it and see what it does. There it goes. So far, so good. And it just keeps going. And that goes to the reason that happens is that there's this turn to heading command. I have to change my heading at each turn. The first time, it's 90. The second time, it's 180. The third time, it's 270, and so on. And so that, by itself, you know, that number is always changing. How do I get that? Well, I'm going to undo this really quickly um, because I want to I want to look at this code again. So 90, 180, 270, 360. You might look at those and say those are four separate numbers. But I want to think about this in a slightly different way. 180 is 2 times 90. I don't know what it's going to let me do typing in there. So it's 2 times 90, 90 plus 90. So what I could do is I could take this angle and add 90 to it, for example, uh, each time I wanted to change something. So uh, let me undo. Oh, I think I'm going to have to put that repeat block back in there. Let's see here. There we go. All right. Um, so again, repeat four times. And I'm going to need a new variable to help me with this. So I'm going to make a new variable. I'm, I'm going to call this new variable, I'm going to call it angle. Did it again. Just started typing. I expect that to just delete the old code. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to start by making the angle 90. Oh, oops. Well, that's not good. Um, oh, I see. I need to make a new variable. New variable is length. So let me change this one to length. And these all have to be length here. One, two, three, and four. There we go. OK. OK, crisis averted. Um, length is 600, angle to 90. And I know I'm going to need to change this to be angle. Um, but this is going to be a little tricky because I need to think about what's going to happen. The first time, this is going to work just fine um, because I'm, I'm turning to 90 degrees. So if we run this, let's just check it out. Drive straight, three squares, turn to 90, go straight. Okay, so it's at least, I haven't heard anything, it's at least doing what I had it do last time. Um, but I know from, from my memory that I now need to go from 90 to 180. So I need to change the heading each time in the loop. So if it's 90 right now, I need to add 90 to it and make it 180. So let's go to this. Let's go to change angle by 90. I'm going to assume that change just means add. Let's try it out. All right, let's see what happens. It drives three squares, does a turn. There's one. There's two. There's three moments of truth. And 
and we've got it lovely lovely and we're done right and um, because we have done this once what I want to show you is we can now do some more sophisticated things so let's let's repeat four times but let's instead let's make this angle something random how about how about 60 it's 60 let's run that and let's see what happens so we're driving we're at 90 it adds 60 ooh it's at a random angle now 90 there okay all right oh and it huh interesting so what happens if uh, we try doing let's um, let's change this to 72 no let's let's make this zero and uh, let's make this angle 72 and repeat it four times yes there is a method to my madness this is what I started to do last time let's just see what happens huh So angle to zero, set angle to zero. Interesting. So it started by going zero. I wonder here, maybe the initial value, because I had this at zero, it goes to zero. It changes it. Maybe I need to start this at 72. Let's see what happens. So we'll drive, go straight. Yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. Okay, is it going to be a perfect pentagon? No, we run into some trouble because you hit the wall. Uh, so let's think about that. Maybe, maybe the solution to that is that I drive a little farther, 800. Let's try that. Maybe then I won't have that problem. There's one. Hmm. I'm not thinking that that actually fixed it. Well, everybody, it looks like we have a little dilemma. And I wonder if any of you can solve it. Hmm. I am hoping that this helps you a little bit to understand um, how we can simplify code, make it, uh, and use loops to make our life a little more easier, use variables to make our life a little more easier. Remember to look be on the lookout for those uh, situations where it looks like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again because that's a surefire sign that some computer science um, might help you be a little more efficient. So uh, keep playing with Vexcode VR and let me know what you come up with. Have a great day.